Let's find our parts. It's Mad Guy Steve. Back with the other group, e to two x cosine three x dx. So, so according to Leady, it stands for log inverse trig algebraic trig and then exponential. So we have to let u equal cosine of three x and let dv be the rest. Meaning du would be negative sine of three x times three dx and d would equal one half e to the two x. The integral of u dv, which is u v minus the integral of v du. In other words, ultraviolet voodoo. Cosine of three x times that v, which is one half e to the two x minus the integral of one half e to the two x negative three sine of three x dx. And now we use the ad again, right? So letting u equal sine of three x and dv be the rest. Du is cosine of 3x dx times 3, and then v would be half e to the 2x. 2v, Two so sine 3x times half of e to the 2x minus the integral of 1 half e to the 2x, and then du is 3 cosine of 3x. It's actually the exact same as what we started with. The integral of e to the 2x cosine of 3x dx. And we're saying this equals 1 half e to the 2x cosine of 3x plus 3 fourths e to the 2x sine of 3x, then minus 9 fourths of the integral of e to the 2x cosine of 3x dx. So if I add 9 fourths of that same integral, that gives me 13 fourths times the integral of e to the 2x cosine of 3x dx equals half e to the 2x cosine of 3x plus 3 fourths e to the 2x sine of 3x. And now dividing by that 13 fourths, 2 thirteenths e to the 2x cosine of 3x, 3 over 13 e to the 2x sine of 3x. And now that we're done integrating, don't forget your plus c. Always remember, math is everywhere.